There it is. We're a few seconds late, but we're here. We are here. Good evening, John and Jessica. Hey. What's going on? Oh, man. That's a lesson. We're a few seconds late. I'm sure people are like, what? Oh, they're looking at 7 o'clock. <laughs> I, we're just glad to have Jessica back on here. We, exactly. we missed her she, she last she, week. and. Yeah. Uh, She's had a. Uh, she said she's had a busy week this week. She was telling mm -hmm. me. a hectic week, to say the least. <laughs> I'm glad tomorrow's Friday. I understand that. We're gonna let a few people. We got, we got some giveaways gonna go down tonight. Yes, we uh, do. Yes, we do. I'm glad I didn't announce it beforehand because I really wanted to let the viewers that own her all the time. Uh, we're gonna be giving away a rod and a monster <laughs> outlaw net tonight, fellas. Absolutely, we are. Uh, we're going to give away a rod tonight that we had never given away before. There we go. I'm going to give away one of them night. The same net John and I run, that Monster Outlaw net. I've had mine for a few years. I've replaced the net. It's an awesome net. It stands out to like 12 feet, I think. You want to try something like that? It does. Uh, I, I'm I'm the world's worst about uh, boat flipping, so mine doesn't get as much action <laughs> as it, it probably should. But... Uh, it, it, it's been, that, that net has been really good to us. Exactly. I'm going to give away. That's an awesome net. It's about a hundred and something dollar value, I think. I can't remember when I bought one, but I'm going to, uh, the winner, I'll just ship it straight to your house. I have it. I'm going to order it and ship it to your house. I'll get your address. So, Jane, Jane and the Loser Marine, they didn't come out with a new color shirt. What's that? Let me look. Let me, let me look I, down there. I, 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 hey, I'm colorblind, but uh, they say it's green. It is. Uh, it is. <laughs> Say, yeah, yeah. Jessica's mad because I didn't get her one. Yeah. I stopped by there, but uh, Shane, a funny story when I was in the military, I'd get my physical done, I'd have to memorize the numbers to the color test. And some of those doctors would flip the page real quick, so I had to count the pages. I'm like, all right, page seven is 43, you know, because you have to tell yeah, them what the number about, is yeah. Yeah, in that, that picture. Test, I so, yeah, uh, I forget what it's called, but yeah, yeah, I'd have the whole book memorized. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. We got tuned in here. We, oh, Byron Weiss. I don't even want to talk to him. He don't even need to be on here. Um, I didn't see pictures. Here, I'll go on and give a little preview of this. Sorry. Him Look and it. Scott Mitchell and the boys right here. They whooped on them now. They whooped on them. I, I knew there was. I talked to Scott. Uh, there, he was. He said he went to Miller's Ferry and it was tough, and they loaded up, went to Seminole. And hey, Lee. Lee, Lee, Scott has got the, the Captain Morgan pose he going does. on. He does. He got it. That's what <laughs> That's when you know you have whooped on the fish. When you, you yeah, get the Captain that. Morgan. Sorry. <laughs> sorry, I mean, I mean, sorry. But, hey, man, we'll get into that a little bit. He he said that uh, fishing was tough on Miller's Ferry, so them boys was on spring break. They headed to Seminole, so I don't blame them. So let's see, man. We got spoke Ronnie McKenzie. Scott Seal said, eating folks, John got my side scan straight. Look at that. Good deal, buddy. I'm That's glad. Good. I say uh, that that helps out a lot, man. When you get your stuff tuned in right, uh, appreciate everybody jumping on here. We uh, let's see. Somebody said Anthony Coleman said Demopolis is kicking my butt. Can't find anything with small fish. Hey, join the crowd, buddy. Get, give it about crowd. give it about two or three weeks. You'll you'll, yeah. you'll see a difference. It's coming. Yeah, I went down to uh, me and Neil and Ashley went to a seminar. A seminar. Went to Demopolis. <laughs> uh, uh, it was a couple Sundays ago. We didn't keep, we didn't catch probably twenty, and it, man, I fished everywhere. So don't feel bad, Anthony. And I know that place like the back of my hand. So it's coming though. You hate yeah. to sound all cliche, but the look, guys, the more offshore fishing you do, the more you're gonna like this time of year that's coming. Uh, this this May, this late this May June July. I mean, it, it's just, it's a different world out there. So Jessica had to take a work call right quick. I understand, but man, uh. Those are just tuning in. We're giving away a rod and a monster outlaw net tonight. I didn't say anything about it on my Facebook page. I was like, hey, I'm the people that tune in this to this show, that's who's gonna find out about it. So we uh we, we, Shane, let's 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 talk about how fortunate we were. Uh oh the yeah, transducer mine's in my truck. Look at there. Oh Joey sent us a nice. Joey picture. sent me his uh, Shane and I, Jessica has commandeered this, but uh, <laughs> and, and uh, got crappy cast on the side of. It. So y'all, if if you got a transducer that that is in need of some resuscitation, yes. uh, talk to just go on uh Facebook and look up transducer doctor, or just look him up on the internet. He can fix whatever. Yeah, he's got yeah. 
when you pinch that transducer uh-huh. cable and you're looking and it looks yeah. like a it, this is hanging out of the side of it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, you just box it up, send it over to Joe at Transducer Doctor and get it back in about a week. I, it's going to cost you a little bit, but it, it'll be right and it'll be, it's going to be better than when you bought it because he's going to sleeve it and everything. And it's, it's it nice, is. So. I, I, everybody that we've referred to him, he's done one heck of a job. Oh, yeah, man. No complaints whatsoever. Je- Jessica's got her alpha plumbing. There you go. Oh, Dee be happy. He'll say, oh, Dee will say that later. He'll be, I just got off the phone with Dee a little while ago. He's a man. I, I've been working this week. They've been, the way, we've been busy, and I've been having to catch some stuff, and, hey, that's good. We're fortunate. We're busy at work. So, But, hey, let's see. Oh, Mitch said him and Martinez got them at Clark's Hill. I bet they did. Clark's Hill got them. Mitch, I thought about you and Martinez. I, Tuesday, I ran up to South Carolina. I had to do a little business up there, and uh, come back through, and I, I, I saw Clark. I saw the exit for uh Clark's Hill or Coney, I was thinking to myself, that's, that's daggone Mitch and Martinez. That, that's their playground. I'm coming yeah, That's it. Now. Oh, Tim Pentecost wants to know where you can get one of them outlaw rods. Tim wants to know where you can get one of them outlaw rods. Matter of fact, it is, I'll type it in www. What is it? Fish outlaw? Fishoutlaw.com. Hey, Tim, know. if you'll go in your closet, I think there's about 400 of them in there. <laughs> Fishoutlaw.com. That's what, not right now, Jessica's going to say later in the show, hey, number blah, blah, blah. And that's when we're going to give away the uh, the, uh, the rod. And we're going to give away the net the same way. I, I ain't figured out how we're going to give away the net. I don't even know. We're, we'll think of something. We're going to do this on the fly. Um, <clears throat> in it? While we're thinking about it, we we had mentioned having another crappy cast like the crappy camp. Yeah. No, uh, we had mentioned May the eighteenth, and that's not going. That's not going. We're not going to be able to do that date. Uh, the honorable mayor of uh, Wise Lake, Tim Pentecost, is getting married on that day, so we're going. Yeah. Jessica and I are going to Tim's wedding. Uh, congratulate, c- congratulations, Tim, and uh, I, it's still not too late for me to. Uh, to, to kidnap you on that day and take you far, <laughs> far away. <laughs> oh. Look at Philip Dodson. Leah's going to kill me. <laughs> uh, Philip Dodson said, these guys came out to my house. They've done a great job. Hey, that's Alpha Plumbing right there, buddy. Yes, sir. Uh, my buddy Dave Fells on here. Mr. Bill Lolly, Chris Rhodes on here, man. Man, we're going to. We'll have to figure out how we're going to – I'll let Jessica decide how we're going to give away the net later on in the show. I don't even know. We'll figure something you know, out. You know Boss Lady will figure it out. Well, we're trying to – we, we, we reached 10,000 followers last weekend, so that's a big deal. We're at 10,100 now, and I'd love to see that thing get to 25,000. So, you know, we'll, we'll, we're going to push it till we do. But we're going to get – like I said, we're going to give away a net and a rod tonight, which is great. So. For sure, I think we're going to give away a pile of knife too soon. I just ain't figured out when. I just, you know, not tonight, but we're going to give one away, an R12, a good knife. And I, I want to be off the show that night. So I, I <laughs> that yeah, I talked to uh, uh, Jessica at Buckmaster Property Group. She's wanting to give away a knife. We're going to do some little promo for her, sharing her stuff. And like I said, they're, these people, these sponsors, they're not scared to uh, put some stuff out there. So, you know, that's that's why we're with them. So they're, they're not. We'll put it out there. So let's see, man. We ain't got hey, any I want to, I want to tell everybody that donated, uh, which is, is still, uh, you still can donate. Yes. To that scholarship fund, uh, for Crenshaw County Kiwanis club, uh, that, uh, Shane, Shane shared it last week. We, we talked to the guy that, that is helping us with that fundraiser. Uh, thank you everybody that has donated to this point and, and <laughs> the future donations. We, we sure do appreciate it. Uh, oh, yeah. It's going to a really worthy cause for the graduating seniors of, 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 of this year. Oh yeah. That's that. We'll, we'll post it again, John. Remind me I'll post it on the page this week. Okay. I'll, I'll, I've got it sitting in my phone. So the, the, the drop, the, the duck, the duck pluck, as they call it, will be May the second. Yes. So, uh, roll tie Willie. Oh, roll tie Willie. Yeah. He'll be scooping up the winning ducks. Man, that's going to be entertaining, isn't it? <laughs> he ain't gonna give no, that day. 
He normally don't give nothing. Uh, don't give a piss about nothing but the tide, but he'll have to give a piss about the ducks that day. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, yeah. Let's see, man. Oh man, we got some people turning down here. Uh, Scott Mitchell's wondering where. The, I guess the best thing for us to do, John, is just schedule one in June, maybe. That you follow. What are you thinking? I don't. What? <clears throat> what's that weekend after the 18th? I well, mean, you got that's Memorial Day weekend. That's going to mess everybody okay, up. Okay. That's okay. why I said, you know, yeah. maybe all right. Shoot for the yeah, second well, weekend in June guess, or something. Hold on. We don't want to try to mess up, you know, any of these tournament folks. Uh, no, no, I understand. We, we can plan it on the fly. So that you got June the first and second. What are you shaking here? Oh, not that weekend. Why not? I, don't know. I need to hold on a second. She, all right, she's deep in thought. We'll, we'll, That's fine. Let her keep on thought. We're trying to plan it, Scott, because we sure want to. You know, June will be about the last month you can actually bear it. You know, because it's gonna get hot. So, as far as you know, hanging out and. Oh, MJ said he's going in the morning. See if they still have lockjaw in Texas. Yeah. Let's look at June the first. June the first, okay. Right. Like I said, I, I don't see why it wouldn't. I don't even know what date. That's that's uh. Yeah, June the first. That's a Saturday, right? Yeah. 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 Okay. Hey. That can happen. So. All right, so ten tentatively, <laughs> we're going with June the first. There it is, Scott. Like I said, next crappie camp, I'm gonna write it in my book right here, June the first. So we're gonna, we know we're gonna do it at Ufala. So that ought to, that ought to. Uh... And Mr. Bill Wally's gonna cook fish. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Look, we're all helping Bill. <laughs> Sorry. Hey, you know when you when you go somewhere, uh, you know what I'm saying you go somewhere, you just say hey, it is what it is. So. Oh, Tony Adams. You see that all that stuff Tony put out again? He had a damn boatload full of stuff. Hey, right. it's hardest. He's the hardest working uh, man in Alabama as far as putting out brush. Man, I seen him and his buddy had that pontoon loaded up. I mean, I couldn't see what all that stuff was. It was pallets and wheels and. Hey, Tony's got the, the crepe myrtle trimming game wrapped up over there. And you follow. Oh, yeah. He, yeah, he's <laughs> got the crepe myrtle king over there. No kidding. I enjoy it. I see his post, man. Hey, but you know it ain't. It's not just putting it out. It's good. It's good at putting it out in the right spots. Yeah. You no. Know? Yeah. Oh, y'all yeah, seen that ledge? He put it on, man. It, yeah. it is crazy, buddy. Um. Uh, well, uh, let's get into a little fishing stuff. I, I've been fi I fished today, uh, a couple times. I went this morning, then I went a little bit this afternoon. There uh, you go. Get oh, some. Yeah, <laughs> Wait, did you? Oh, well, you did like, what? 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 <laughs> all she did was a all she did was a boat ride. <laughs> uh, that's funny. Uh, but we uh anyway, so get to see some fish that are you know postponed. I, I'm excited about that. Um, we we get a lot of grass around our lake, and they're getting that grass and hide, and uh, we're we're, get, we're seeing some that's coming out from it, you know, and. I don't know. I'm just excited about it. Uh, I'm ready for the spawn to be totally over with. Shane and I have talked about this before. Oh, yeah. But I, I had some. But I had somebody message me today, and there's like, man, he said all my buddies are fishing the bank and catching fish, and I said, he said, what do I need to do? I said, well, you know, you, you're getting toward the end of it uh, here in South Alabama. I said, but if you'll take your court, you know, and and, and put it on a long pole and just any little hole you see in the grass or any little hole you see on a bank that looks like it might be, you know, structure related. I said, put you a, a, a white pearl or a white jig about 18 inches below that cork and just bump it, wait about 10 seconds, bump it again and, and watch that cork. If it does anything, any deviation, set the hook. <clears throat> so, uh, I don't know what he, I don't know if he went out there and tried it after he messaged me, but, uh, I, that, you know, it, it certainly was successful through my uh, childhood and, and oh yeah, uh, and my you know this time of the year for me growing up. You cover enough water and you'll run in them pods up on the bank. You know, I used to throw a thirty second in the weeds the same way. I had some memories pop up on my Facebook today from back in the day, probably seven, eight, ten years ago, and that's what we were doing. Oh, sure. 
She's over here brainstorming on the way to give to give away that net. That's that's fine. Hey, that's what that's what she's the boss lady. And she's the boss lady. God, Dee's wants to know. Did you say White Pearl or Mister Monkey Mill? Something <laughs> <laughs> about hey Scott. It's something about that white. It's like uh, oh yeah, we were talking about that before. Uh, it's kind of like uh, we used to r raise mealworms as a kid. Oh, uh, and something about a mealworm and that white mealworm being on a brim bed just drove them insane i don't know what it was but we take beef you know beef feed and hang it up you know in the barn and keep it wet and those they come in there and lay that larva and that makes that mealworm some people would call them maggots but it's a mealworm i mean it ain't nothing crazy about it but when the crappy are on stumps you can take a mealworm if you can get your hands on one this time of year and and the crappy will eat that mealworm too and it's just a you know I don't know. It's just a special time of the year. Uh, they'll, they'll, they'll do stuff you don't normally see them do uh, as far as aggressiveness. But uh, we that mealworm on a brim bed, if you had never tried it, it it's special. <laughs> yeah. They, they've been uh, they've been tearing the shell cracker up around here, too. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, I've seen where people are starting to catch them. Let's see. Wax worms, what they use for brim. That's what David Fell said. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. It's you know they ain't but like a maybe an inch, inch and a half long. Some people, uh, we we always just call them mealworms. Uh, they when they get too big, they'll they start turning, uh, you know, gray or black. Oh yeah, yeah. David them go up to Canada and get all in them pencil weeds and they catch coolerfuls of them things. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, he 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 makes a trip every year up there. Where yeah, they do. Him and his buddies. Uh, you know, they they're from Ohio, so it's not really that far, but they go up there and catch coolerfuls. <laughs> so let's see, man. Scott, look, look what Scott. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think Derek Howell let me put maggots in. <laughs> hey, buddy, whatever it takes. <laughs> oh, yeah. Mm. You're exactly right. Oh, Country <laughs> Cousins tuned in. Appreciate him tuning in. They're probably they're eating them bologna sandwiches they had on the boat. <laughs> oh, yeah. It, it really is just a worm. It ain't like a true. Oh, yeah. I fish with them a bunch. Uh, Bill Valentine saying, why do y'all dislike the spawn? <laughs> Bill's wondering why we just, it's not our favorite time of year, John. Well, we paid thousands of dollars for electronics to fish offshore. And then we're going back to what we grew up doing, beating the bank for one time of the year. That's why everybody, that's why the whole saying crappy season started. It was this time of the year is what everybody called crappy season. I'm not, I'm not this, I'm not saying I, I hate it or anything, but gosh dang. I, I like going offshore and fishing stuff I can see instead of going down the bank like we used to and just dipping and dropping minnows and or jigs on every little twig we saw and catch them on the bank. And uh, I don't I, I don't know. It's everybody's preference. Yeah, to me, it's I just mean, so I've got, I've got some friends that, that will never go on a boat with me and fish offshore because they want to fish the shore. Right. That's right. You still got some old school people that like to dob minnows and, hey, it's just not my favorite time of year because John to tell you, I can literally take you in the boat and, and show you 30, 40 fish on a stump. And then you catch 10 or 15 of them. Then we move again. Next thing you know, we got 50 and you have to cover miles of, of bank to catch them spawning sometimes miles and miles, you know? Well, and right now they're spawning. That's what you want them to do. Um, I just don't feel the need to mess with them anymore when they're spawning. I just know, uh, yeah, exactly. Because you, you know, it's it's the more you fish offshore, Bill, the more you'll 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 li you'll learn to like it, and that's just the, and well, it's the last four or five years. That's where it's been, you know. And and honestly, you can you can catch them in that transition area in between the you know where they came from to the spawning area. You know, uh, you can you can get there right now. It's just they're scattered. Yeah, Woody's got a Woody's got a good point too. Too many people. I mean. Yeah. Honest to God, you're you're fighting people fishing the docks. You're fighting. You're coming behind people, and you don't know how many fish they spooked or whatever. And you know, that's what David Fells is saying. He don't like to fight the boats, and that that's the truth. Because come May, those boats are dramatically decreased on the water. Um, they just have. Everybody thinks crappie season's over, and you know it, it we, just. We, we've got a couple of slews here. 
I mean, you're just like, there's boats tripping over each other. You know, they know they've caught them there in the past. They're spawning. And uh, me personally, I don't like fishing on top of somebody or around somebody. I, I, Jessica and I want to have our own little thing going on. If, if we got a spot we're going to and there's, you know, somebody there, we'll, we'll just ditch a whole plan and go somewhere else. Exactly. Eddie Jones said he cleaned 20 today, female full of eggs. One I mean, white foot deep brush pile. I mean, white he's up there. I'm sure he's at Logan. So white crap, white crappy or black crappy? Eh? I don't know. I've seen where uh, Ryan Willis has been posting a lot of white crappy. You know what? This week, I've seen him post a good bit of them. Look who's tuned in, Mister Thomas Jackson himself. You see them fish he caught? Woo! I seen him post some today or yesterday. Some big fish, buddy. Big fish. He said they were black. Uh, John Eddie did. Okay. All right, Je Jessica's got a plan. She she's got a plan to. Uh, uh oh, here we go. The uh, that 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 change got. To right, go ahead, you pick which one. Okay, so for the net, the net. Here we go. It's we're gonna. It's gonna be. You're gonna do hashtag ten k crappy cast. There you go. And she's okay. gonna do the tenth one to post it. Okay, whenever so she says that. So Hashtag or for old folks, that's that's the number sign. Ten K Crappy Cast with a K. Uh, that'll be the the net giveaway. And Whenever she says, I'll post it on here, and then uh, then everybody I know. There's Kobe. He practicing right now. There it is. That's perfect, Kobe. Thank you, buddy. Well, that's what when she says the net giveaway now. The tenth person right there. There it is. Not yet, Mark. Not yet, yeah, buddy. She, 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 they get warmed up. <laughs> hey, not yet, Mark. Don't waste it, buddy. I know it's kind of jumped the gun. At Ryan, Ryan Flanken's going in there now. Hang on. We got to, hey, we, we tried to kind of coordinate it. But, and again, guys, look, I'm going to uh, the pick the tent person. This, my screen refreshes way faster than y'all's. Because believe it or not, at the end of the show, this thing, everybody's comments are all messed up compared to what they were. So I'll yeah. refresh it twice and then count to 10. I promise you I'm being as fair as I can be about it. Cause I, I will like, we'll, we'll see some comments sometimes. And like, I want to go back and make a comment, you know, respond to someone after the show. And I'm like, all right, that's probably like halfway through the show. And I'll go back halfway through the comments. The comment will be nowhere around halfway. <laughs> oh yeah. It is. It's crazy, man. You don't, I go after the show, guys, I go back and like all these comments and try to answer some questions and there'll be so many, they'll just mix all up. But when she says the net giveaway, not now, I, then you're going to type in what these people practice for y'all. The number mm -hmm. sign 10 K crappie cast, just like he's got it, Ryan and them spelled the 10th person. They're going to, I'm going to ship them a net. So let's see what Ty said. He said, finally caught y'all live. Appreciate it, Ty. Have y'all ever had the AHRS disappear on the menu? Hmm. Not to my knowledge. Uh, is Ian, we, sometimes people don't always go on the correct screen. And, you know, like, I, you know, you know where where it was, uh, I think it's under installation. It's where you that's go in there. To, yeah. You go when in you in, turn it like, off, it gives you the, the, the pitch angle, right, John? That's correct. That's correct. Um, and... Hell, I've got a translucer right now that I still own that I, it's not on my boat that uh, it won't calibrate, but you can set the pitch angle on it and you can set it perfectly. Um, that That's that's one of the reasons I had not sold any of those 32s I got. I got to figure out which one it is. I've got three uh, LVS 32s I need to sell, and uh, I, the only reason I haven't sold them is because I got to figure out which one that you got to manually set the pitch angle on. So. Right. There you go. Ryan Franklin. He wants to know, is a 93 SV large enough to see the fish on live scope or should it go with a 1022? Buddy, there is a big difference between that 93 and that 1022. If it, if it takes you a couple months to, to wait to buy that 1022, you'll be much happier in the long run. Hey Amen. 100%, Ryan. At least go with the 1022 if you can. If it's, if it's financially feasible, hey, buddy, please go with that 1022. You'll be thankful. Like John says, you won't cry but once, and that's it. <laughs> you won't cry but once. All right, guys, let's do the net giveaway. The net there you giveaway. go. Hashtag 10K, 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 10K
Go ahead. Number 10. Number, number 10, 10, guys. Y'all already been practicing. I've seen y'all. Number 10. They, they, they going letting it rip. It. Letting it rip. They letting it rip, but that thing looks like a slot machine. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. I love, I love y'all for it, too, guys. I know we probably got a winner by now, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to scroll through it twice and count to number 10. You won't be disappointed with that net. It's, it's a good net. No, it's a five. Um, I've been running it for you, and I, uh, believe me. We, the, right, one guys, we had, right, okay. the one we had before, it had a, a, a narrower nar – uh, the handle was narrower. Wasn't it a Jinko we had, John? It kept kind of yes. smashing. It was a good net, but it kind of kept breaking. And, and it kept twisting on you and stuff. That 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 one that, that we're giving away tonight, uh, it's a solid net. Yeah, let's give away. I know we got plenty, guys. Let me refresh this thing twice, and we're going to get number 10. I'm pulling it down one time. I'm pulling it down again. I got to go up here. I know there's some people already practicing on there, so I got to go past them. There it goes right there. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Let me make sure that's right. I hadn't refreshed it again, so I'm going to go again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. There he is right there. Jolly Owen, you just won you a net, buddy. I found Jolly it. Owen. I, that's the first time I, I, I remember seeing his name. Yeah, Jolly. Congratulations, buddy. I promise you I counted to ten twice. So thank all y'all for sharing that. Uh, Jolly, if you'll message me, man, I'll I'll get your address and I'll be sending you one of them nets for sure. I promise. Congratulations, uh, Jolly. Man, I appreciate everybody sharing it. Lord, there's a bunch of them on here. <laughs> Thank y'all. We're going to, hey, it ain't the last giveaway, I promise you. Nope. We're going to give away a rod here in a little while. We're going to give away uh, a rod here in a little while? Uh, well, I would say we do a shirt, but we're getting low on shirts. <laughs> I told you, Jessica, she's tuned in. We're going to do a knife giveaway for promo. I got to get with Jessica. I've been busy. We're going to do a, a little video at, at her new property group office. And uh, we're going to talk about giving away one of her pile of knives. We'll make people share that video. And just like we used to do on our guide trip, you know, when we first started. So, yeah, it's, it's great. It's cost effective. We've talked about it before. That's a great knife. So, you know, pre but I got I got Joey's name wrote down right here. He'll message me. He's going to get a net. Oh, you know, they, they got where they can laser engrave on, on blades now. So really, yeah. So I, I, I saw it somewhere, uh, that somebody had an R12 and it, and, and on the blade, it had like their guide service engraved. Oh man, that'd be yeah, awesome. That, that, that's pretty badass. Um, uh, we might, I don't know. We, we're exploring all options these days. You yeah, know, man, we, we won't, I mean, it's really. And the cool thing is a lot of people uh, just use their old standard knife and they, they get it done. But when you run one of them nice guys, man, yes. it's unreal. I I had to uh, slow my roll when I got that Rapala. <laughs> <laughs> Boom. You're like, whoa. Because just, I mean, we've talked about it before. Jessica and I like to eat those 10 and a half, 11 inch fish. You go, cut them, you, so. go, you go with them souped up RPMs to go sliding into one of them 10 and a half. <laughs> you build a backside of them before you know what happened. So, yes, sir. Chance Birch from Andalusia. He's tuned in from John. Look at that. Oh wow! Hey, I bet Chance and I talked on water. He works uh, for the forestry uh, national forest service. There service. you go. Appreciate him yeah. tuning uh, in. He's tuned in, man. Chance, hey, Chance, got... Chance is cool, man. He's a cool dude. We got uh, people. We got a hundred people tuned in here right now. So. Hey, we still got a rod to give away, guys, and y'all know that drill, so whenever Jessica says it. But we gave away the net, Mr. Jolly Owen won it, which is, hey, awesome. Appreciate everybody sharing that. Man, there's people sharing the dog. <laughs> I had to count, but I appreciate y'all. So y'all got some questions. I know I don't – that that HRS missing from his menu. I don't know where that would – that's weird. You think he went to factory D if he he sent it back to factory settings, it would come back up, John, or something? Uh tell him, just message me and and I'll when you're back on the water, we'll talk it. I'll talk. Yeah, it, it's something that's weird how it disappeared. i I mean, I know stranger things have happened to him. Hey, but I will tell y'all this now. John got one of them visualizers for performance marine. And let me tell y'all, I put one on my boat. Tommy wired it up for me. 
when he was <laughs> in town. Hey, <laughs> I want to specify that. Hey, I had a, I had a little guy trip to run Tuesday evening up here by the house. And uh, me and David, I turned it on, and David goes, we went two weeks ago. He goes, man, that thing's bright. I was like, to me, it looks like you took your sunglasses off. That's how much brighter it is. So what this thing is, it's a visualizer. It takes the power from your battery from 12 to 28 volts, goes to your black box. And I don't know what that does, guys, but I'm telling you, it's brighter. It pops more. Uh, the fish was brighter. The, the limbs, I got a video I need to post. It is so bright. But you can see the fish. It really shows a lot of separation. Uh, it's for, I'll need to post it on the page. But I told John, I was like, I see what you're talking about. Because as soon as I turned it on and I looked down, I was like, oh. I think, And I think it lights them up when they're close to the bottom, too. Uh, it I helps think that's, that's going to be a big difference, guys. When that, when that fish is sitting right on the bottom right there and you, can't, you can barely see the hump. But that's what Waylon's saying right there. I'm telling you, that visualizer. I know there's several that I know. I only know that's the one I've got on my boat. Like I said, Tommy wired. He said, let me know how it is. And when me and Dave turned that thing on Tuesday evening, I was like, it literally looks like I slid my sunglasses down. Yeah, for sure. I, I mean, I, I'm not necessarily, I mean, you you don't have to have it, but it. I feel like uh, it helps. I, yeah, Tommy's saying they got to step up convert on Amazon. The same thing. This is, it's a 12 28. So, it, I don't know if it's the same as that one, but they, if you're kind of tech savvy, you can figure anything out like that. So. Well, we don't, we don't allow Shane to, uh, to yeah, do no, no, any no, more no. electrical on his boat by himself. <laughs> uh, he started the other day. He's like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to hook this up. I said, no, you no, wait till I get out here. I said, come down here by me. Let me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, man. They have got, gosh, I've got, I, I hate to even talk about it without, you know, being totally versed in it, but all right. So we had to have one of the uh, air conditioners worked on on the bus. They have these new clips uh, for wiring. You just stick the tip of the wire in, and you clip one end, and then you clip the other end. They both stick in there, and then you get. If you wanted to undo the wire, you just flip the little the clips you mash down up. It, man, it, you could shrink wrap them. Oh man, dude. He showed me that. I said, man, that's like opening my mind to a whole other world when it comes to wiring a boat, you know. Um, but he, he did it on our, our bus, working on the air conditioner on the DC. Okay. He said, you, put, you can put on DC or AC, but uh, he, he used uh, four of them on our bus. We had a, a DC connection that got a little loose that was going to yeah. the that. And, man, I, I tell you what, next show, I'll make sure Shane's got the picture. There it is. Right there. Scott says they make marine grade also that has jelly in them. That's what Scott's saying right there. Yes, yeah, that, yeah, man. Gosh, it's come so far. And then you could, you could, you could put your heat, your heat shrink on there, and just heat shrink them down, and it would be amazing. Damn all yeah. that, all that crimping and all. That, I mean, that's the bad thing is, John, when you pull that wire up there to crimp it, by the time you get it squeezed, it just falls out where you didn't have yes. it. In there. So yes. Like, man, come on, man. Yeah. You know, then you're cutting and doing again. So, uh. Let's see. I was looking at a question. I don't know how. Yeah, they, he's talking about the jelly. They make some of them. It's got the the the, the grease, the dielectric, die, whatever. Yeah, dielectric grease. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Patrick, we we discussed tentatively right now. Crappie cast camp. The next one's going to be June the first. Yeah, that's what Patrick was asking. He's out you of Panama follow, City there. You, late you follow Alabama. That's right. Not you follow Oklahoma. That's where old. Mr. Power breaks Chad Clifton from right there. Yes. He's busier than a bee. Good Lord of mercy. Hey, Mike, Mike, shoot me a message. Mike Hill. Yeah, Mike, send him a message. He'll uh he'll send you one. I know the visualizer, like I said, they're step up converters on Amazon and stuff. The visualizer comes already with bunch splices on it and it's ready to go. But Mike, yeah, he said a message him. Well, well, I'm telling you. The thing about it, you know, I told John and John to tell you the same thing. We've sat here. If we don't physically use something, we're not going to try to endorse it. But I put it on the boat, and I was like, looked up, and I was like, man, it's bright. <laughs> Travis hey. said that Scott Dees puts that jelly on his jig. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Travis. Oh, oh man. That's Scott. Hey, Travis, I meant to put that picture on here, Travis. 
Travis won the IP tournament down there at Miller's Ferry. I shared it on the uh, Black Bell Hunting and Fishing page. I need to share it on here. Uh, him and his family won the tournament. Uh, he said it was still tough fishing. So, hey, Tra Travis is like me. We, we were there what for the uh, crappy cash camp. That's been a couple weeks ago. He's like, yeah, we're here practicing for the uh, the 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 turn IP tournament. I was like, when is it? He said, oh, it's in a couple weeks. I said, you like me, buddy. <laughs> if you <laughs> make an excuse to stay away and, and fish, <laughs> it makes all the sense in the world. Oh, he, yeah. I think he had his uh, camper lot over there for like a month or so, you know. It's like the mayor over there, old Don Gartman. Oh, yeah, Don Gartman, mayor right there at Rolling Cooper, for sure. Don, Don, oh, Don. MJ, he's tuning in from YouTube. How long does a crappie live? How long do crappie live, John? Um, I think they're at their peak, like, in their fifth and sixth year, um, from what I understand, listening. Okay. You know, I, I, I try to, like, research this crap and listen to all just talk about it and that kind yeah. of stuff and and sometimes when we get more technical it's because my dumb butt is listening to about just talk about uh you know uh crappy sitting right there in the thermocline because the most dissolved oxygen and that sort of thing or crappy going through lake cycles every five years well that's what makes me think that that fifth and sixth year is the healthiest year for that crappy um or crappie if you're, it's a crappy. <laughs> but, <laughs> you know, we are in the minority by saying crap. Oh, yeah. We're you know. right. But anyway, uh, I don't know. That five, six, seven years is probably the uh, the height of that crappy's life and its healthiest point from the best thing I can listen to and gather the most info about. Um, I, I got a buddy of mine, another buddy of mine, uh, A.J. Simmons, he goes around and, you know, he shocks fish uh, and, you know, legally shocks fish and uh, does research on them. I need to talk to him. And matter of fact, it probably would be pretty cool if we had him on here one time to talk about the biology of fish. And, oh, yeah, big time. Yeah, we do need to get, you know, somebody that really has education on it. I mean, that, that's Tim's, his job. Tim's saying, about, Tim's saying about like you, he said six years in the south, ten up north. I know they live a lot longer up north for sure. Yeah. <laughs> what? Patrick said they only live till they bite on one of y'all jig. Yeah. <laughs> right. I, 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 until, until Jessica gets ready to make some mud flat or some flappage. <laughs> oh, yeah. That's exactly right. Oh, goodness. Hey, well, Justin wants to know are you going to fish the, the, Ala, the, the Alabama Crappie Trail uh, tournament on Miller's Fair? When is that? May the 4th? The what? <laughs> The Alabama Crappie Trail oh. on Miller's Ferry. It's May the 4th. Uh, Justin wants to know if we're going to fish it. Oh, that's I made my mind if I'm going to yet or not. Uh, we we have retired. Well, May the 4th, we'll not be. Um, our son graduated from, from Alabama yeah. that day. Yes. Oh, that's right. That is, that's exactly right. I remember that. We will be in Tuscaloosa. We're, we're proud of him. Uh, if you maintain a 4.0 the whole time you've been in college you get the red cap at alabama so he, he's getting man he's gonna stick out like a sore thumb yes yeah, awesome. he, yeah he's him. gonna have a red cap so we'll be able to know where he's at on the that's awesome i ain't sure if i'm gonna fish again or not justin uh oh that's my birthday weekend my birthday's the next week so i ain't no telling what i'm gonna be into so. birthday month Do like someone that. just had one this past yeah birthday. he just had one april the 15th tax day tax day that's me <laughs> Oh, goodness. But I ain't sure, Justin. I, like I said, I, I, I share all their stuff. I'm not sure if I'm going to fish it. Fishing better get better. It's going to be tough. I promise you that. Where is it? Miller's Ferry. Miller's Ferry. The last regular season oh. tournament for uh, the Alabama Crab Trail. Yeah. And then they have their classic on Logan Martin. Yeah, that's, that's exactly right. That's right. Um. Hell, just gonna we we could have we should have we fished one turn, but we should have won it. We could have maybe we could have qualified for the class. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's what we did last year. We uh we won one, and then we were we just came fish a classic after that. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Well, let's see here. I make sure I didn't miss no question. I get a bunch of roll tides on here. I had to scroll roll past. Tide. Oh. <laughs> hey, Paul. <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, man, we got it's 
We're fortunate. I see the same names on every week, guys. And we, I appreciate it. Like I said, you, you know, I've met a lot of these people doing the crappie cast camp. Hopefully somebody, everybody can make this next camp. Uh, it's going to be fun. The last one was a big so much fun. Man, we, got fun. To be, we had a blast. I man, mean, we did. Oh, and the good news is, fingers crossed, that you follow should be on when we go there in June. It should be plenty of fish to oh, catch. It, it should be a beat now. And you want know to be awesome? Hey, everybody go out there and catch enough fish. We cook them fish right there. That, that's yeah, what would be would, awesome. We'll, we'll debark them right there. And That'd be hey, that would be fun. that would be something spiritual as you can get. Pull them fish off, put them on ice, and skin them down. And hey, I, eat them. we might even do some uh, flaps. <laughs> there you go. That hey, that's right. <laughs> I know, I know you don't got your flap comment. <laughs> what John? Hey John, explain to people what you're talking about in the mud flaps. All right. <laughs> don't look it up on Google. Yeah, don't don't without, do that, without, guys. Don't do, don't without do that. safe search on. <laughs> yeah, don't, uh, don't do that. <laughs> anyway, uh, so what we do is we scale both both sides of the fish. Uh, you go through the fillet just like you're going normally fillet a fish, but right there at the end when you get the tail stop, go to the other side. You have it scaled. You cut through it uh, to go all with the tail. Don't cut all the way out. And then you take a pair of snips and you clip the bone right there at the tail. And then we'll cut the rib cages out of each side. So you've got skin on each side uh, and the meat. And then the tail's there at the, at the bottom. So it makes two like flaps and the tail. So when you fry it, we say you got, uh, you know, two flaps and a tater chip. Because the tater chip's the uh, tail. So uh, and we'll fry them up like that. It's just something different. I mean, it reminds me of growing up. We always had skin on our fish when we fried them. So, uh you know, a lot of times people that fillet crappy, they just fillet it all the way out, and you just got that, you know, that fillet of meat. But uh, I tell you, we're gonna get the spoon was, out, huh? I was totally against this dang gum air fryer she bought, and oh, the more the more I think about it, I think I could take some of that, that that fish with that skin on it and doing that air fryer. I bet it's gonna be the bomb. You know what I seen on uh, TikTok? They with taking the boiled eggs. On it. Oh, they're they're taking boiled eggs and doing them in the air fryer. How the hell it? Uh, they they put it on 250 for seven minutes and pulling them out and look just like you boiled them. I was like, you kidding? With, with a shell? I mean, yes. Come on. Have the shell on there. I'm telling you. I know I ain't always that bright, babe. I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, I'm just like, man, they trying to, you know, if you can't cook nowadays, you you need it. You need it's just so easy. Take your fist and punch yourself, guys, because <laughs> there's so many opportunities out there. Wealth of knowledge, a wealth of just recipes. I mean. It's it's unreal. Oh, I'm gay for crappy ta tacos. Oh yeah, hey, Keenan said he does it all the time. Look at there. See what I'm talking about? He said he puts eggs in. I, I'm telling you, I, I've I've seen enough stuff on my. Hold on, just a second. Mm. It's crazy. What about quail eggs? <laughs> <laughs> well, hey, they're smaller. Yeah, you know, that's, that's eight minutes. <laughs> I've had a lot of stuff out of an air fryer, but. Ugh. I, I was totally against it, you know. I don't know why, but well, I'll, it's just it's just new. You my know, sweet it, friend Macy Beckwith taught me to get it. Yeah, I wish. Yeah, which one did you? Hey, which one did you buy? The Ninja. Ninja. Hey, show D your shirt, Jessica. D just tuned in. Look at that. <laughs> Alpha plumbing, baby. Oh, look here, look what sorry Byron. He's he's just getting on my you know what list by the second. He's done fished all day. I done seen him catch some brim. And now the sorry son goes eating crappie taco. Man, I, man, get out of here, man. <laughs> get that mess out of here. Well, all right, guys. It's time uh -oh. for the next giveaway. www.fishoutlaw.com and number eight. Oh, number eight. Okay. I got it wrote down. Number eight. I there said number in a sheet. Man, they quit. <laughs> Hey, them boys is so fast. Good Lord. All right. So this this poll that we're giving away tonight is going to be a 12-foot outlaw. 12-foot outlaw. Yeah, right? it's the first time we, we've given away one of them, uh, the, one of the longer poles. Uh, 12, but I would have said number 12. <laughs> oh, it's my fault. <laughs> she said it. You, if he would have told us it was a 12-foot, I would have said number 12. Well, I, I, you weren't privy to the conversation no, I had with no. them. That's all right. Hey, 
I promise we got a winner, man. I thank y'all again for sharing that, dude. I I know Amos and them do for sure. They do. Oh, I know we got a winner right here. You said number eight, so look, I'm going. I'm gonna have to go way up here, way way up here. Refresh this thing. There's once. There's twice. We scroll down, fellas. Number eight. I'm gonna have to count. And do it real slow. Let's see. Woo! Get past all them crappy casts. I and mean, y'all shared the heck out of that thing. For sure. Number eight. Did you catch any fish at the house today, John? I did. I did. I, Here we I, go. It was as, as much as I wanted today. It was fun. Uh, Jessica went on the boat with me. I said, you think I can catch two and two casts? And the first cast, I caught one. And... I screwed up on and on two and three, but the fourth one I did. So look, look who I'll take five hundred. I'll take five hundred every day. Look who won right there, old Mister Chef Bard himself. <laughs> look at there. That hey, he has been trying forever. To look at there, Bill Lolly, the, the best fish cooker on this side of Mississippi. He has one been trying. <laughs> That's funny because he is. He said, "I'm just going." I, I can't win. More. <laughs> he said I'm gonna have to buy one. Which he did. He has now. He has bought some pole. Oh yeah, he does. Hey, uh, I fished with a guy yesterday, David Driven. Believe it or not, guys, he went with me one trip. He went with me the second trip, and we were on our third trip together. He got him a five foot out law pole. He's like, man, I can shoot this better. Hey, we popped thirty fish, and he was, hey, he was putting it to him with it. He said, man, I really got more control with this shorter rod, so. Man, Look it's all about the feel of it. Like, honestly, myself, like when I get one that, that's different now, me reaching for the jig and trying to pull it up under and shoot it, I'm just like, <laughs> you know those things. Like, you can't uh, win one either. He's just going to have to buy one. I don't blame you, Derek. Derek. I don't win anything either. Hey, yo, just keep tuning in. I mean, eventually, hey, who is it? We had, they won twice. I can't remember who it was. Uh, 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 uh. Uh, James Trot. Yeah, Trot. We've had several that Yeah, have Trot won. won, but there was somebody else. We was like, gosh, dang, he must have some kind of algorithm to, to punch in or something. I don't know. Well, what you know, was. Ashley, Ashley Ford, she's always one before and one after. She was right there behind it again. I just don't, I just start laughing. I'm like, man, I ain't. She's right there around it too all the time. That's true, Mike. We all woke up this morning. We all went. Hold, 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 right. hold, yeah, hold, right, yeah. yeah. Holden, Holden, yeah. one, you're exactly right. He's won shirts and Holden is lucky as crap. Please po uh, post Mike Hill's post. What did he say? Exactly. He, I just, I just did. That's exactly right. Amen. That's 100 percent, Mike. You're exactly right. Uh, I'm a very morning person. People hate me for that. I, when I wake up in the morning, I'm happy as a three year old in Chuck E. Cheese. <laughs> I'm just telling you right now. I, I'm blessed, and I know when I wake up, I, it doesn't matter if I'm going to work. But uh, hey, I, I like to wake up in the morning. Hey, and go. tell Ashley I'm a, I'm gonna uh pull, pull Ashley back up on the she she's more she's always one before and one after. Uh, so I'm we're going up to Tim Pentecost uh, wedding. I'm gonna get a outlaw crappy pole signed by Tim Pentecost. There you go. That's and, a good idea. Make yeah, him Shiloh, sign it with a Shiloh, All right, so Shiloh's gonna be there too. So we're gonna get her a pole signed by Tim and Shiloh. There you go. She's the, always trying. I'm telling you. She, the, she's the, we, tells hey, me every she's like. I'm going to get them to sign. I'm going to say the dynamic duo. And, <laughs> <laughs> she's always one before, one after. Hey, I ain't trying to show no favoritism. I'm being honest as I can be. So. Yeah. Well, but I, I, we'll get, we're going to get her a poll. <laughs> we'll get Tim and Shiloh to sign. I do, Wade, say, I do see everybody's name, Wade. I see everybody on, on YouTube and, and thing, but. This thing, man, it registers so fast, but I, I wait, I, I, I update it twice and then count. So I try to be fair with it. I promise. Oh, wait. You. <laughs> that's my, hey, that's my brush, my brush pile partner in crying right there. He, we get after it now. There you go. Darren said, I flipped a 244 in Dale Hollow with that little five footer. Tell him what you flipped, John, down here at Hope. <laughs> Tell a three, him. A 301. <laughs> With a five foot pole. This nasty face. Yeah. She, I, I, I sent her a picture. It was laying on, it, I had it laid out there on the deck. Oh. 
And I said, "Do you want to guess?" And she, she well, said, I was at work. She said, "She sent me a message, KMA." <laughs> y'all, y'all can imagine what that stands for. Kiss my. Yeah, yeah. I got it too. Hey, Jessica, I was doing it too. He, hey, the man caught 180 something fish in two days and a three pounder. You know what yeah. the? And then I went that weekend and struggled to catch 30. It just. I it was just it just it, oh it was it was on you know we had that big yeah, rain yeah. he was two days before so hey a lot of us you you got to hit it right you know I, yeah, I'm I fixing mean, to get some stickers made John uh some some real good stickers you know I got some made Jake made me some before that didn't have the Zach logo just like this he's perfected it now so I'm fixing to get some you know some just you know some cooler stickers and stuff he's got it perfected now so hey. And we hope to have a lot more giveaways at the next um, crappy camp too. Yes. All right. So yes, we're gonna try to get. We sure will. So Shane's talking about these stickers. What we've talked about this before, and what we'd like to do is, um, if you could purchase one of those stickers and you know put on your vehicle, Crappy Cats Live. If you could take a picture when you see one or somebody that's got it, we'll start sharing it. You know what I'm saying? Oh yeah. So so buy the sticker and you know what we might do some kind of giveaway like you saw this vehicle with a crappy cast live sticker on the back oh yeah hey i got one in the back of my truck and hey what's funny is uh i'll be downtown birmingham and somebody blow the horn and roll the wind i think something's out flying out of the back of my truck uh look what d said bingo but d ain't d is not afraid look right there what he just said yeah there it is so anyway but I get stopped all the time for my crappy cat sticker and my all the time in Birmingham or on the, uh, but it's going to be a heck of a, a networking thing. If, if we start uh, Shane, I don't know what it'd take for Shane to be able to mail out these, these stickers. No, it, 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 wouldn't be, it, really it won't be much, nothing. but if you see somebody on the road with it, take a picture of it and, and, and submit it or, or, or post it to Shane's, you know, Shane Jones fishing or, Crappy cast and, yeah. and say, hey, I, I saw a, a crappy cast live listener at such a Bessemer or Mobile yeah. or whatever, and uh, it's gonna. I'll be, message it, Jake and get him to uh, cut me some. Uh, he's a busy guy, but I will. I will message Jake and see if he 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 does some of the best stickers. If you need some logos or stickers or banner, I promise you. The I minivan need needs one. <laughs> What's that? I said the minivan needs one. Oh yeah, for sure. I'm, and I'm, ca- I'm kind of undercover right now. I uh, got a new. Oh truck. yeah, hold on. John got him a new birthday present. So he's blessed. Let's talk about that. Hold up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I've already got 1,100 miles on it, and I bought it Saturday. <laughs> so, he bought him a new Z71, a, a crew cab, a Chevrolet. Is it Jeep or Chevrolet, John? Chevrolet. Chevrolet. I couldn't remember. John sent me a picture of it. Why? I was like, Oh, whoa, what's going on here? Uh. But that, that's a nice vehicle. I'm proud. Oh, of teach, it. teach John how to say best. How, how do you say Bessemer? Oh, some people say Bessemer. <laughs> I don't. I mean, I, I thought. I'm. I'm sorry. I didn't. You know, he said it right. He's. Hey, he was trying to give the slang version. Oh, <laughs> Bessemer. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. My cheeks are hurting from laughing and smiling tonight. Yeah. Yeah. We. It's hey, you been know, fun. Hey, can't. Nobody can say we don't have fun on this show. It is not fake. This is this is our real personalities, and hey, we're genuine people. <laughs> we do have a good time. So it's live. So this you can't script this mess. So <laughs> there it is. That's how you say it, Batma. <laughs> Basma. Basma. <Yeah. laughs> hey, bank. <laughs> hey, Travis wants to know you got water in that cup again. Uh, <laughs> Just- I certainly do. <laughs> Flavored water. Flavored water. Great, fr- great flavor. Hey, uh, Jesus probably turned that water into something else. Yeah. Uh- <laughs> oh, goodness. Fer- fer- fermented great flavor. <laughs> yeah. it-, it is great juice. Oh, man. Oh, my goodness. That's exactly right, Mike Hill. Real is great. We deal with fake every day. You're 100% right, Mike. It is, it, is a, it is a bunch of fake going on in this world. You're exactly right. Mm. It is. how You got to deal with it all day long. But, hey, we like it. 
I promise you. So, man, we said we gave away a, a Joey Owen won a, a, a uh, outlaw net. And then Mr. Peel, Molly won a uh, 12 foot outlaw rod. Man. So, it sounds like the good news is, guys, we got a, we got a month, month, and a, six weeks to get, get a bunch of stuff to give away in June the 1st. So, we'll have Creek Man there to. Yeah, the, oh yeah, Creek Man the popcorn man. <laughs> He's in the bus right now, hanging out, chilling. Creek like Creek has come out of his shell. It was awesome to watch him last last yeah. time we were down there. It was funny. He he all serious for the giveaway, like <laughs> watching Shane make sure he didn't do anything wrong. <laughs> oh yeah, he was it was hey he, he done hey he, he he had some fun. And I remember being his age in camp and man, you couldn't tell me nothing. So I think uh just a heads up for anybody that wants to camp and uh, do some fun stuff this summer. Uh, we're, Jessica and I, I we, we're planning from about uh, the second week of June till probably after uh, July the 4th, we're going to have a place up at uh, Gunner Hill outside Montgomery. And we're going to have the bus up there and for, for probably at least a month. So if there you go. come hang out and camp and, have but, uh, time. you know, Scott, do you know what landing we might be close to and you follow, John? I don't even know. Oh, uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later, and it'll probably have more to do with uh, lodging, Shane. Yeah. Um, you know, if you go to up toward Lake Point, you're kind of isolated on the northern part of the lake where uh, we probably want to try to find something more mid-lake to south. Uh, but we'll take suggestions for anyone that, that's got lodging suggestions. Uh, and uh, or someone we need to talk to as far as big group planning, a pavilion, and that sort of thing. What would be awesome and cool is uh, if 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 people wanted to show up, you know, like that Thursday and stay to Sunday, like we did. You know, let's let's do a little more planning this time so we can uh, you know do more get-togethers and eating supper and that that sort of thing. Yeah, that's uh, right. Yeah, we we kind of. That one kind of snuck up on us, but heck, man, there was fifty people show up, and man, it was awesome. We had, it was awesome. Yeah, and we had we had a good crowd to eat the night before. Uh, had yeah, a good yeah, time. They, 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 yep. We went to Hunter's Run right there in Camden. Delicious crap balls. <laughs> yeah, I seen that. Yeah, I told I actually told Michael that. Uh, Jessica, that's yeah. the biggest crap ball platter I've ever seen in my life. Yeah, I had hey, them the next morning for breakfast. <laughs> yes, you did. Yes, sir, man. It's been a fun show. We're giving all stuff away. Uh, We'll try to get a few more things. Uh, like, like I said, I know the 10K, you know, since we reached 10,000 followers, I had several things I was going to get. And I've been, I took some suggestions from guys and Annette was one of them. I was like, man, that's a great, that's a great gift uh, to give away. But, but Joey, if he messaged me, he may have already messaged me and I'll, I'll get it shipped to him. Order him a nice net. Let's see here, man. Jo Jolly Owen. I don't think it was Joey. Was Joey, Joey, Owen, Joey Owen. Joey Owen. Joey Owen. No, it's Jolly. Jolly. Like J-O-L-L-Y. Is it Jolly, man? I've been pronouncing yeah. I'm so sorry. I thought it was Joey. I wrote it down. You know Boss Lady got written now. There you go. Yeah, I'm sorry. It is Jolly. Y'all missed me last week. Yeah, exactly. Uh, oh, yeah. I don't know where I'm. I'm sorry. Jolly? <laughs> Ryan Franken said he's in North Carolina. He wants to. He's from Gaston. He wants to move back. I don't blame you, Ryan. Ooh. Buddy, if you do buy a place, I'll come over and stay with you. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> exactly, man. That, what a great that's, one of, that's another favorite of ours is Neely Henry mm -hmm. Lake, oh, uh, North Alabama. Appreciate you watching. Kobe said he enjoyed the show, man. I appreciate all y'all. When there was a hundred something people on here, there's still 72 on here tuned in. You know, I know we take an hour out of y'all's night on Thursday nights, but heck, man, we enjoy it. And, uh, uh, I want to thank Power Breaks, Alpha Plumbing, One Call Heating and Air, Andalusia Marine Power Sports, Buckmaster Property Group, and RMC Mechanical. That's our sponsors, and hey, they've been with us. And we're going. I'm like I said, I'm going to do something with Jessica and put some more giveaway stuff on there. We're going to try to, you know, just just to keep our name in y'all's mouth and keep going, you know. And like I said, <laughs> you got to watch what you say around John and them. But hey, we, you know, me, but. <laughs> She's the worst one. But we do. You know, hey, the word of mouth is the best advertisement for us. So that is the truth. Uh, next week. Well, 
I guess next, I don't know. We, we really don't have anything. Uh, I, I, maybe I can get my biologist buddy to come on next week. That would be pretty yeah, cool. Yeah, Triff, you can do him. So, uh, hey. And, I mean, I'll tell him you don't have to be on, you know, the whole thing. You know, no, no, he can he can come on 20, 30 minutes. But, hey, that would be an interesting show. That anytime you get somebody that really knows the uh, all the biology of the fish, it really helps you out a lot, you know. We, uh, it, we got pretty fortunate. Uh, the, the sales manager there at Andalusia Marine, he's trying to build like a – his lake's not very big, but uh, – He's got some transplant fish from uh, another private lake that's got you. I've taken you fishing there before, Shane. Yeah, it's yeah. Got probably the best uh, genetics of any crappy fishing lake fish. Well, he's got some of those in his lake, mm. and he got to catch some of them this year. Post spawn, they're still monsters. God, I'm, them drastic but, but, uh, Here's the deal: he he gets that lake sized up every year through uh, them shocking and mm. letting him know what he needs out, you know, to put in it. He's got more shad in a small lake than you'll ever go anywhere in South Alabama, as well as he's pumping the protein, like that, that super high, like $50 a bag protein to his brim. He's got, you know, pound, you, you, you do good to catch a brim under a pound there, you know? Oh yeah. It's amazing oh. how them things just grow and grow. And you can carry kids down there and have some fun. So, all right, let's end this show, John. I appreciate y'all being on. Y'all hang out after the show and thank all y'all for tuning in to crappie cast live we'll, we're gonna be back next thursday well maybe we'll have a little crappie before it i'm gonna try to go fishing this weekend and if john and them get a chance i ain't sure if they're gonna get to go or not but hey if we do we'll we'll sure uh if we, if we do we're gonna try to do a field the freezer weekend <laughs> i understand looking forward to that crappie cast camp june the first hey man that's gonna be good if you can make that and you follow like you follow alabama let's do it it gives you plenty of time to plan. I know it's right there in the first of summer and the kids getting out of school, but hey, let's try to get there. Bring your kids. Heck, we, hey, we had plenty of kids at the last uh, crop of cast camp. So we did. We do not mind and kids at all, man. Hey, that's what it's about. You know, it's, it's all a good time. Mm-hmm. We don't have any, any anything going on. But uh, <laughs> Bill always said he got to go catch some fish. Bill, we're going to clean the fish we catch out there, bud. You just get your fry mixed up and, and come on down there, Bill. <laughs> appreciate you Bill Blotty congrats on winning the rod buddy we'll get that thing to you hang out John Jessica appreciate y'all we'll see you next Thursday bye y'all